Welcome to the Spatial Information Lab video. In this video, you will learn how to navigate and use a geographic information system. Geographic information systems gather, organize, analyze, and display spatial data. They can be useful in selecting a site for a biomass conversion or processing facility because they can help identify an area with ideal proximity to the biomass resource. In geographic information systems, data is presented in the form of layers. Layers containing different types of data can be added to the base map. You should start by familiarizing yourself with the layout of the Biofuels Atlas. The sidebar on the left allows you to turn layers on or off, as well as view the legend and data sources for each layer. The toolbar across the top of the page allows you to perform a variety of different tasks on the map, such as navigate, measure, and query. Before beginning, turn off all layers using the Layer Controls button in the toolbar. Next, try zooming into an area that includes Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. To do this, select the Zoom tool in the toolbar. Then click and drag to draw a box that includes these three cities. When finished, the map window should look like this. Next, try measuring the distance between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Start by selecting the measure tool. Click once to start a measurement segment and twice to end the measurement. Record the distance between the two cities. Also find the distance between Las Vegas and Phoenix, as well as the total distance from Los Angeles to Phoenix via Las Vegas. Next, use the Find Location tool to find a specific address. Select the Find Location tool and type in the given address. When you click OK, the map will zoom in on this location. Once there, use the Zoom and Pan features to explore the area. You can also use the Base Layers tool to change the base map layer. Before moving on, familiarize yourself with these tools by completing the questions in your lab manual. Next, let's explore the Query and Analysis function. Start from the location you previously found. In the Layers window, open the Feedstocks folder and the Crop Residues subfolder, then select Corn Stover. Notice how the map changes to reflect Corn Stover production estimate. You can use the Legend tab to see the production estimate, and the Data Sources tab to learn how the estimates were made. Record the range of Corn Stover production for this area and explain how this estimate was made. Next, click on the Query drop-down menu on the toolbar. Select by point and click on the location you previously found. A window will appear that shows the actual corn stover production estimate for the county. Record the county name and its actual corn stover production. Next, close the results window and select by region from the query menu. Draw a rectangle around an area including the cities of Platteville, Dodgeville, and the location selected before. You may have to zoom out to see these locations. Your results will be displayed below the map window. There should be two additional counties and their corn stover production in this data set. Next, you can use the Analysis button to estimate county-level potential biofuel production within a specified distance from a point. Select Analysis and click the location you found previously. In the Analysis window, select Corn Stover and set a buffer distance of 20 miles, then select Run. The data from the analysis will be displayed in the same window. Use this data to answer the questions in your lab manual. Next, you can use the State View menu to retrieve data about a particular state. Open the State View drop-down and select Kansas. Explore the data shown in the results menu. You can also use the download results button and open the data using Excel. The last function you should explore is Advanced Query. Advanced Query allows you to search various layers and apply different constraints to the data. This allows you to find more specific information. You will use this feature to identify the region that has two features favorable for a cellulosic ethanol plant, an available biomass source, and a high density of vehicles capable of utilizing ethanol. Start by clicking the query menu and clicking Clear Results. Also use the Layer Controls button to turn off all layers. In the Layers window, open the Billion Ton Study folder and select Wheat Straw from the County Data folder. Also select Flex Fuel under Vehicle Density. Then select Advanced Query from the Query menu. Click Clear All to delete any previous saved queries. Select Wheat Straw from the Layer drop-down menu and click Add Layer to Query. Then select Dry Tons Per Year under Attribute Name, the Greater Than Symbol under Operator, and enter 200,000 under Query Value. Under Condition, select AND. Next, use the layer drop-down menu to add flex fuel to the query. Select FFV density under attribute name and the equal sign for the operator. Lastly, enter 45.5 to 91 for the query value. Submit the query. Results will be displayed underneath the map. Record the county that fits your criteria. Now that you are more familiar with the program, use the Biofuels Atlas to complete the report outlined in your lab manual. 